Hey, what's up tubers? Today I'd like to show off my brand new used M17, which is also known as the SIG P320. These will be my first shots with it. And when I bought the gun, it only came with one 21 round magazine. So there'll be no quick reloads today until I get some more magazines. Let's take the first shots and see what she does. We got one in the chamber already, and this model does have the safety. I kind of like the safety. I know a lot of people don't. Let's see how she shoots. I'm about 10 yards away from these big old steel targets. The first shot's a complete miss. Don't know how I did that, but... Miss. That's a hit. Okay, so I can tell already that she shoots a little, a little low. I'm sorry, she shoots a little high, so I'm having to aim a lot lower than normal to hit anything. Let's go for that uh, four inch target. As long as you do a six o'clock hold, you hit every time. Also looks like I'm pulling a little bit left, but that's probably just me. Hey, I like it so far. Um, there's not a lot of recoil, even though it's polymer pistol. I mean, nine millimeter is so soft shooting. I uh, rarely believe there's any recoil anyways with them, even if it's a steel or polymer gun. I am shooting, I don't know what I'm shooting, I'm shooting bullets, let's continue. Alright, let's uh, let's rattle off a, uh, a few quick fast ones, see what we can do. I'm not going to present fast, I'm just going to, and then shoot fast, okay? All right. Alright. I don't mind the trigger. Some people say the trigger is a little... Shoots fine to me. Alright. That was the last one. And I do believe I was riding the slide release on that last shot. That's why it didn't ride, um, open up on me for the last one. Hey, I like it though. I mean, I basically got this gun to be my rough gun. The gun that I can take out in the woods and kind of uh, not, you know, baby it. And if I drop it or something like that happens in the woods, then fine. No problem. I heard this coating is not the greatest, but I don't care. Because, you know, I plan to rough it up anyways. And it being a polymer gun... That's just, for the sake of hiking or trekking for a long ways, the lighter you are, the better. And the further you are able to go if you're not packing a whole lot of weight. So let me uh, load up another magazine, take some more shots. Okay, I got another magazine loaded up and gonna take some more sh uh, shots at the steel. Before I start, I'd like to thank X Steel Targets for sending me these wonderful targets that I'm shooting at today. I've had them for a little while now and I've been shooting them and testing them out and they have worked on everything that I have shot at. No dents, no, no problems at all. So I'd really like to thank X Steel Targets for sending them out to me. Okay, so 
I got a new magazine. I got a new magazine. I got the same magazine loaded up with 21 rounds. One thing that I saw upon doing all my thorough research of the uh, M17 is that if you have the magazine loaded up to full capacity, you might have a problem racking in that first round. So let's just see if I do have a problem. Pretty sure it was just the earlier models that had that problem, but let's just see it, if not. Nope, worked just fine. So let's take some more shots. After the first few rounds, I will know that I'm, I'll be shooting Blazer 115 grain. But them other bullets, they were just all scattered about in a little bag, so I didn't, I didn't know what they were. All right, enough talking. Let's start shooting. All right, now. Okay. All right, let's go for that four-inch plate. I mean, I used to have a P320, and I'll, I kid you not, it's the only pistol I have ever had, or all the pistols, even my HKs, that I didn't have one single malfunction with. Um, I've had a stovepipe here or there with every new pistol I've gotten, pretty much, but with that P320, I never had one stovepipe. No issues at all. It shot steel case, aluminum, brass. It shot anything. I put through it. Now, it was also another used gun. It wasn't brand new, so maybe it had already had its break-in period, but I always kind of regretted selling that gun because I was wanting to get something else because there was nothing wrong with it. And if I could go back, I, I, I would have uh, sold the Glock before I sold that 320. But that's why I wanted the M17 so much is because it was like, you know, a second 320, which is basically the same thing. But this is peanut butter jelly style, and I love that peanut butter jelly. I can't hit anything with peanut butter and jelly at the moment, but I got to slow down, then I can hit something. Yeah, I must be riding the um, slide release. I'm trying not to do it, but I must have been doing it again just now. Yeah, she's a little warm. Maybe a little bit more than warm, a little. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, I really like it. And this is the gun I'm gonna be using a lot. It's gonna be my rough gun. It's gonna be my, my breadwinner right here, okay? This is the one I'm going to trek through the woods with. And any kind of little rabbit or squirrel, I'll never hit a squirrel. But anything, any kind of little creature come at me, I won't be uh, pulling this sucker out if, uh, if my long gun is not near. All right, that's going to be the video for today. Sorry I haven't made one in a little while, but I've been busy, pretty busy with work. And it's only so much time I can put into this. But... Like always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.